Here we go. Today we're going to look at another problem in the series of uh, annuities to examine the different types of annuities and the um, proposed solution to the same. Uh, and uh, we'll start again with an example of someone who decides to quit smoking. Um, but this time let's have them put aside, let's say $100 a month at the beginning of each month. So they're going to start today. Uh, so we'll start always with a timeline. So we'll draw a timeline and this person is going to put aside at the beginning of the month $100 per month. And let's have them do this for 10 years. This is now. And let's go with the simple case. Uh, so we'll have J12 is let's say 6%. Now the simple case meaning the frequency of compounding interest matches with the frequency of payments. Always match the frequency of compounding interest to the frequency of payments. So you'll want to, um, this in this case is the simple case because it's J12 and it's monthly. So we're all right, uh, right away, it's a simple case. Uh, so I is, remember J divided by M, so 0 0.06 divided by 12 which is 0 0.005 per month. And remember when it's a monthly rate, which is very common with things like mortgages and so on, it's always going to be a 0, 0.00 something. So that will tell you if you're on the right track. Uh, if you're getting a number quite different from that, uh, that should be a tip off that something's incorrect. Now to calculate N, the number of payments, there are 12 per year for 10 years will be 120. Notice the last one's at the beginning of the last month. So that's our 120. And let's try and calculate how much money this person will have at the end of the 10 years. So they're quitting smoking now, they're gonna put aside $100 a month starting today, and we wanna know the future value, and this is an annuity due because they are starting to make the, the um, payments uh, or the deposits, if you like, into an account. They're starting to do that today, so at the beginning of the interval. So it's the same as for the future value formula for an ordinary annuity. It's just we have the one plus i stuck on at the end, and that's what this do in bracket should remind you. So it's going to be r, or the payment, one plus i to the n minus one divided by i, and again, because it's due, we will add the one plus i. So we have, in this case, $100, 1.005 to the 120, minus 1 divided by 0 0.005, and multiply this by the 1 plus i, which is 1.005. Now, if you're deciding to do this on the calculator, there are several things you'll have to remember. So one of the things is for payment, we would put the payment in as a negative number, so payment would go in as 100 minus. Um, the present value would be zero because they haven't started doing anything yet. We are trying to calculate the future value. N would be 120 because there's 120 payments. The interest rate would be 6%. And then when you go second function interest rate per year, it asks you two things. The number of payments per year is 12 because it's monthly and the number of compoundings per year uh, it assumes is the simple case, which in this case is correct, is also 12. So all that's ready to go. Uh, now you have to remember to put it on begin mode. That's the only trick when you're doing an annuity due. In order to do that, you go second function payment and then second function and the word enter on the top row of the calculator. And that will, it's a, that's a toggle switch. It will switch the display from beginning to end to beginning to end. And you want to leave it when it's on begin mode, clear on the bottom left. Uh, and then you can go compute the future value. And you notice begin is in the display on very small letters at the top. And if I've done this correctly, which I'm assuming I have, uh, this person has accumulated 16,000 four hundred and sixty nine dollars and eighty seven cents.
So that's the, uh, the tactic. The tactics are always the same. Uh, draw a timeline, show the money movement, show the interest rate, do whatever calculation is required up here, uh, show the formula, proceed, show the answer with a dollar sign, two decimal places of accuracy, and a written conclusion. Thank you very much.